Hi, this is Miss Torres, and today I'm going to read you a fiction story called The Elves and the Shoemakers. This is based on a tale by the Grimm Brothers. I hope you enjoy. Once upon a time, there lived two shoemakers, a man and his wife. They worked in a small shoe shop where they made and repaired shoes. Like others in their neighborhood, the shoemakers were honest and hardworking, but poor. One fall day, the shoemakers had only a few bits and pieces of shoe leather left and no money to buy other supplies. Well, I still have hammers and nails, but there is hardly enough leather to make another pair of shoes, said the shoemaker sadly. And there's no food left for dinner added his wife. That evening, the shoemakers left the scraps of leather on the work table and went to bed hungry. They would decide what to do tomorrow. The next morning, the shoemakers went into their shop. <gasps> Goodness gracious! They both exclaimed. They could not believe their eyes, for there, next to the needles and thread, sat a perfect pair of shoes made from the scraps of leather. Oh, what beautiful shoes! Such excellent work, said the shoemaker. Who could have done this job for us? His wife took the shoes outside of the shop to marvel at them in the daylight. Just then, one of the king's men walked by. Oh, what beautiful shoes! Such excellent work, said the king's man. I must buy them and he gave the shoemakers a gold coin. With the money, the happy shoemakers were able to invite their hungry neighbors to a celebration. Off they went to the market to buy food, and with the money they had left, they bought enough leather for two pairs of shoes. That night, the neighbors came over for a simple but delicious meal. Later, the shoemakers cut out more leather with large scissors, they left it on the workbench to work on the next day. Then they went to bed. While the shoemakers slept, two tiny elves scurried in. They busily snipped and stitched with strong needles and thick thread. Then they shined their two perfect pairs of shoes with a rag. They left the shoes on the workbench, and in a flash, they were gone. The next morning, the shoemakers went to their work table. Oh, goodness, they cried. There on the workbench sat two beautiful pairs of shoes. The shoemakers put the shoes in the shop window. Just then, two of the queen's ladies in waiting walked by. Oh, what beautiful shoes. In our opinion, this is the most excellent work we have ever seen. Such precise stitching, they said. The queen's ladies gave the shoemakers three gold coins. The grateful shoemakers took the money and bought even more leather. Oh, who is making such beautiful shoes for us? The shoemaker wondered as he cut up the leather. We must find out who is helping us. Oh, tonight, let us stay up and watch, said his wife. That night, they did not go to sleep. They hid behind the door of their workshop and waited quietly. The shoemakers stayed awake watching the shop. At the stroke of midnight, two elves in old worn clothing suddenly appeared. The elves hurried to the workbench, grabbed the pieces of shoe leather, and in no time at all, made four beautiful pairs of shoes. The shoemakers were amazed. Oh, did you notice the hole in their ragged clothes? said the wife. They have done so much for us. Perhaps we can do something for them. The next day, while the husband sold the four new pairs of shoes, his wife made new clothes for the elves. That night, instead of more leather, the shoemakers left the clothes and a note on the work table. The note said, Dear elves, thank you for helping us. They signed it, The Shoemakers. At the stroke of midnight, the two raggedy elves appeared. They read the note and joyfully put on their new clothes. They danced, sang, and laughed with glee. And then they skipped out the door. 
The elves never came back, but the grateful shoemakers had enough money to continue making shoes and to live a happy life. Now you're going to practice your reading comprehension skills by retelling the story using the pictures. Feel free to pause the video to answer the questions and then press play when you are ready to move on to the next one. Card 1. Why do the shoemakers look troubled? How do they use the tools on the work table? Card 2. Who is the man in green? What does he think about the shoes? How does the shoemaker feel? Card 3. How do the elves surprise the shoemakers? What time of day is it? What tools are the elves using? Card 4. Why are the elves dancing? How do you think the man and woman feel about the elves? Thanks for watching The Elves and the Shoemakers.